Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. Now we've got our farm shop up and running now. All that's left to do is to go inside and I'll take you on a tour of the machinery and equipment we've got set up in there. But also we need to fill up those boxes inside with ingredients. And also we need to do a few other things like uh, take out the wisp spawner beneath the purple kind of monument on the hill. And also maybe make some shotgun ammo because I haven't got any shotgun ammo since Kim came and I accidentally shot her. So let's get about it and get back to work. Right, so, oh man, we need to replace our Scarecrow. Although I'm a bit nervous of doing so because I don't want my Scarecrow to come alive again. So I might have to think about a different material to use when I make my Scarecrow. I can't use... Actually, that reminds me, one of the things you guys said is that there's a Wisp Spawner beneath that purple thing. But it's too dangerous going there on foot, so I've got an idea. But before we go over there and investigate the Wisp Spawner, I'm going to show you guys around our farm shop. Alright, now it's seen a few changes since you saw it last time, since we actually created it. We've got basins here, and sinks for washing our hands, because obviously, of key importance when somebody comes to buy some food, well, I'm going to have to wash my hands before I prepare it, because we can't have germs getting into our sandwiches and things. Now also, check this out, I've got a chest up here. Now for the time being, I've put bottles and bones in there, uh, bowls in there, because I might need those for certain recipes, but actually I'll empty these cherries into the cherry chest as well. Now, what else am I missing? What else do I... I've got an empty chest here that I haven't put a sign on yet. And we haven't hooked up our eggs. We can do that this episode, maybe. I'll put a waypoint down here in a sec. Now, check these out. Now, these are industrial craft electric furnaces. Now, I don't have traditional kind of stone cobblestone furnaces with coal. Because I don't want to have to waste coal every time I want to cook. Now, what these do is, you see this wooden, wooden kind of bit here? Well, that's actually covering. These electric furnaces are powered by some solar panels that I've put on the roof. And let me show you, see if I can get up onto this hill to be able to see them. There you go, over there. You see that gap in the wood between the wooden stairs? Well, inside there are some cool solar panels. And they power my electric furnace and keep things ticking over. And what's this? Oh, red flowers. Right, so this is the farm shop. Now, let's take a look and see what we can actually make with some of the... Well, oh, that's a good point, actually. We need to fill up these ingredients chests. So what I'm going to do this episode is go around and gather some sugar cane. Some, the wheat chest should be full. Oh, pretty much. Now, we've got a small problem in that we're getting seeds in here. And we don't really want seeds in here. So we might have to filter them off somehow. Maybe with some more emerald pipes. We need honey and bee-related stuff in here. We need cherries, but we've got a ton already. We need... Oh, that's unnamed. This one needs cocoa. Of course, we need cocoa. So we're going to have to grow cocoa beans somehow. But I think jungle trees only grow in jungle biomes. Well, I think at least. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. So I might have to find a jungle biome to make cocoa. Got pork here. Nothing in the pork chest, of course. Nothing in the mutton chest. And nothing in the beef chest either. So I'm going to need to go on a killing spree to get myself some of that. Also, chicken. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys, in the chicken pen. But I'm going to need to find a way to breed you guys and get some chicken meat out of you guys. And obviously the eggs chest, not full either. So I'm going to go around this episode, empty my pack at first, just to get rid of all this crap. And then start filling up these chests with some of the cooler ingredients. And then I'm going to, need to look at what I can make with those ingredients and make some kind of menu. So Because at the moment, people come into the farm shop and well, they can say, oh yes, well, I don't want cocoa, I don't want pork, I don't want mutton. Don't want any of this stuff, but what I really would like is a steak sandwich. But I don't know how to make a steak sandwich. So what I need to do is find a way to make a steak sandwich, find out how I do that. I need to make it like a, like a recipe book for me to consult so that I can make these things on the fly. And also a menu that I can hand out to people as they come into the farm. Right, so first let's go to the storehouse and pick up all the ingredients we can that are already in these chests. Right, there's not going to be any ingredients in gemstones or metals and fuels, build craft. No, I don't think so. Now, wood might be an ingredient, although, well, no, it shouldn't be. Maybe I'll need sticks for lollipops and things like that. But I don't think I'll actually need any for the moment. Building materials, and there shouldn't be any food in here, and there isn't. But there might be some food in the food and agriculture chest. Here we go. Oh, yeah, there's already squid tentacles. We don't have a squid chest, of course. There is a banana. Okay. A orange. Right. I'll have to get rid of some of these saplings. There's also mushrooms. Are oh, they used? They're, they're key. Oh, we need a mushroom chest, of course. 
Now I wonder if cactus is made, is used for any foods. There's some wheat, oh we'll have to put that in the pro proper chest. In fact, let's empty my pack before I fill this up with food first. Right, so let's just put this in the chest, get these out of the way. So we've got the cocoa beans in the cocoa chest. This is going to be a nuts chest, have I got my signs on me? No I haven't. But I can put the nuts in here already. There we go, walnuts and chestnuts, lovely. And this chest over here will be assorted fruit. So I'm going to put the bananas and the oranges in here. Um, right, so I'm going to need... Oh man, I'm going to need so many chests actually. I'm starting to think that maybe I should combine some of these chests. Like I could have a meat chest where I put the pork, the mutton, the beef and the chicken all together. And that would give me three extra chests. In fact, I think I will definitely do that. So for the time being, I'm going to put all the food in the pork chest. Oh, but we do have beef here. So I'm going to put beef in the beef. I'm going to put the rest in the pork chest. Now we need mushrooms, a squid chest, and obviously the honeycomb can go in the bee and bee related. Now where's sugar canes? We did make it. There we go. Sugar canes. Lovely stuff. Right. Now it's time to chop off the top layer of this sugar cane farm and get all the sugar canes I can without stopping the ability for them to grow in the future. Here we go. Oh yeah, chop, chop, chop. I love how quick it is to chop sugar canes. It's just so quick. There we go. Now loads of this is dropping in the water. And I know some of you guys said that if I build half platforms over the water, it'd be much easier to grab that and it won't fall in the water, like half blocks. But the thing is, it would look kind of bad. I, I, li I like the look of having water in here because sugarcane and rice and, and, and crops like that need a lot of water in real life. And so I like the look of having lots of water nearby them. Hey, now that's fantastic stuff. Okay, I've got like what? Two and a half stacks of sugarcane. I'll go and drop that off in the sugarcane chest. Right, now what I'm also going to do is, have I got my shovel on me? No, I haven't, but I'm going to need some sand. I'll just grab some from over here. Oh, what's this? Nice little cave. Oh, I wouldn't mind going spelunking, you know. Oh, there's some sand over there. Right, so I'm going to get some sand because I think you need sand for fiberglass and you need fiberglass for ammunition and stuff. In fact, let's double check. Let's open up the items menu and ammo. Here we are. Now, it's the W1200 ammo that we want. So how do you make this stuff? Doesn't say. Oh, we use an ammo box, right? So I'll have to consult the ammo box in a sec. But for the time being, I'll just get some of this sand because we'll definitely need some of that. There we go. Oh, and I'll get some from over here by the coast as well. Now we're also going to have to remap our quarry. Remind me to put that in the to-do list. Remap the quarry so that we can get some more materials. All right, lots of sand. Now it's heading to night time, so this is the perfect opportunity for us to head inside the house and make the ammo and get some sleep. But while we're on the way over here, let's check the trees in the tree breeding zone to see if there's any custom leaves on there, any pollinated leaves, so that we might be able to get a balsa tree. Oh yeah, already I can see a couple of... No, 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 wait, no, that was... No, I don't see any pollinated leaves yet. Maybe I haven't left it long enough. Let's double check, actually, make sure none of the trees are leaning over the apiaries. Nope, it looks like none of them are leaning over the apiaries. But I still see no pollinated leaves. Well, okay. I'm just going to have to leave these, these apiaries to buzz all night then. Right. So, let's make ourselves some shotgun ammo. How do we do that? Well, let's check the ammo bench. And with, this is the W1200. So, let's see where that is. Did I miss it? Nope. There it is. Now, for ammo, we need... Oh, right. We need some iron ingots, some fiberglass, and some gunpowder. Now, it's five gunpowder per ammo block. I've got loads of iron though, it's just fiberglass that's going to be the sticking point. So this is what we use to make, now that's the soul forge, whoops. So how do we make fiberglass? Well let's look this up. Fiberglass, was it glass? No, it was glass, what, what was it? Fib, fib made it turn up at least, fib, fiber, okay. Oh right, and to make fiberglass we, uh, clay and sand mixture, oh right of course. So I'm going to have a sleep, go out with my shovel, collect some clay and sand, turn it into fiberglass, get some iron, and we should have some ammo. Uh, 
our morning has broken. Oh, it's another glorious day on the farm. Oh, it feels good to be alive. It feels good to be on the farm. Right, so let's find my shovel. Where are you, Mr. Shovel? Monsieur Shovel? Oh, no, now I said I was going to... Holy crap. There are a lot of ingredients in here. I'm glad I popped in here. Got some bread, mushrooms, raw chicken, loads of wheat. Don't know if I've got enough space for all this, actually. No, I don't. Well, I can get rid of some of this cobblestone. Put this in here. I could probably get rid of... Oh, what else? Now, I'm going to need some signs. And I'm going to go over and change what's in the farm shop. And then get some more shotgun ammo. Right, there we go. Nine more signs. This, sh this should be plenty to rearrange these chests into meat and mushrooms and all those other ingredients that we need to add, but don't quite have space for. Right, so with the axe out, I'll just get rid of these signs here. Now I think... Chicken will become... Chicken, beef, mutton, and pork. No, no, oh, whoops. PRK, whoopsie daisy. Proc? No, no. Wrong thing. Pock? No, what, what's wrong with my spelling today? Okay, pork, there we go. Now in goes the chicken, the raw mutton. Whoa, 59 raw beef. I must have killed a lot of cows for that. And have I got any, uh, have I got any mutton? I thought I picked up some mutton. Mutton, pork, maybe? I haven't got any pork. Wow, I'm going to have to kill some pigs for that. There's some more raw beef. We'll put you in there with the rest of them. We haven't got any chicken or, all oh, right, squid tentacles. Right, so, got three chests here. Now, that's chicken, beef, mutton and pork. Now, this one will be seafood. So I'm just going to put, oh, let's see, fish and seafood. And that means we can put actual fish in here if we fish some up. Because we could make a fishing rod, you know, and go on a farming, uh, go on a fishing trip. That be might, might be fun, actually. So let's see, uh, where were those squid tentacles? That's right, over here. So in go the squid in there, and we can add the fish to that later. Now this will be mushrooms. Mushrooms. And we can put both the spotted mushrooms and the brown mushrooms in here, as well as nether warts, I think. Nether wart cap things. And in here, we're going to put, well, oh, I don't know. We haven't got an apple chest, but that's going straight to the orchard. We got Have we got a nuts chest? Yeah, here's the nuts chest, so I'm going to put nuts here. Nuts, just make sure Lewis stays away from this chest. Coco. Right, so the final chest. Now, what don't we have a chest for? Apart from apples, because we're going to put that somewhere else. We don't have a chest for carrots. But the thing is... I don't know if I want to have a carrot chest or just a vegetables chest because there might be potatoes in this mod as well. I'm not sure if there's potatoes in this version of Minecraft. So I'm just going to... Oh, well, I'll put vegetables here for the time being. Vegetables. And if there are potatoes, okay, great. They can go in here with the carrot. If there aren't, well, carrots are the only vegetables then in the mod pack. Apart from maybe pumpkins. Pumpkins and melons, actually. That's a good point. Actually, We'll, we'll make this final chest over here. Pumpkins and melons. Pumpkins and melons. And of course, I don't have a pumpkin and melon farm on my farm yet. Oh, that's really important. Right, so all of our ingredients are in their proper chests, I think. Yeah, by the looks. Now, we might need to make some beeswax. And what I'll do is I'll put bread in the wheat chest. Get these seeds out of here. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, wow, that was quick. And the dirt. Now, with all the ingredients in the ingredients chest, I think it's time to... Oh, let's make some, I don't know, let's make some, let's make some steak sandwiches. Why not? I fancy some steak sandwiches, so we'll get some bread. We'll cut that bread into slices. Now, how do you slice bread? There we go, you just put bread in the crafting table. Now, we'll make, oh, 15 slices of bread right there. Now, steak sandwiches, well, I'm assuming this is how you make a steak sandwich. Oh, and it is, a steak sandwich, delicious. Now, I'll make a few more of those, because why not, right? Turn this steak into steak sandwiches. Delicious. All right, seven steak sandwiches. So, what I'm going to do is eat this on the beach. Oh, yeah. Sitting here on the coast, just eating a steak sandwich. And, of course, right, I was going to make some ammo before I go and take out that wisp spawner. Okay. So, I'll just eat this. Oh, I can't eat the steak sandwich because I'm full on hunger. Well, okay, maybe, maybe hop, skipping, and jumping. 
over to the... Oh, wait, I need clay first. I'm going to need some clay. So I'm going to get my shovel out and go underwater and see if I can find some clay in the riverbed. Right, there we go. That should be plenty of clay for me to make. Oh, oh, taking hits. Drowning. Plenty of clay for me to make some shotgun ammo. So let's get to the storehouse, get some iron, and then get inside the house, make some shotgun ammo. Oh, the sun's setting as well, so after I've made this ammo, I should have a sleep and then go and visit this wisp spawner and take out these rude dudes at the source. Right, so I think to make the actual ammo for my shotgun, all I need to do is have the materials in my pack and click on this ammo icon. But I don't have the fiberglass because I need to make some clay and sand mixture. Sweet 19 and... Take this out of there. Put the coal back in and put the clay sand mixture in the top. And this should turn into fiberglass, and it's not too, it doesn't take too long either to do it. Now, I think I only need two fiberglass per piece of ammo. Yeah, I do. So I've got five gunpowder, eight iron bars. This should be plenty to make about, oh, three or four packs of ammo. That means I'll be able to do some serious damage with my shotgun. Oh, wow. There we go. All right, yeah. Right, so I'm going to have a sleep so it's not night time so I don't get shanked by some zombies or some skeletons on the way to kill this this spawner. Oh, another glorious morning. Oh, it feels like I've just woken up. Oh, because I have. Great stuff. Now, I've got to be careful what I right-click on while I've got the shotgun equipped because, well, a couple of times I've actually shot people because I've tried to open chests with my shotgun equipped. And that's, that's really awkward to explain to the police when, you know, there's a dead body on your porch. And you're just like, well, officer, I just tried to open the door with a shotgun in my hand, and what can I say? It went off. I, I didn't mean to. It's just, well, you know. Well, they're not going to listen to that. They're going to say, look, listen, son, you're nicked. You're going to jail. Right, so let's take out this rude dude over here. This wisp spawner now. I've got my shovel, which I'll need to dig into the mountain. Now, you guys say the wisp spawner is underneath this purple block configuration up here. So I'm going to listen to you guys. And, and hope that you're not lying to me or you're wrong. And I'm just going to dig underneath it and see if I can get to the wisps. Here we are. Be very quiet. Okay, we're getting really close to wisp zone. So I'm just going to start digging now. So they won't see me coming. Here we go. Yeah, now if I'm digging underneath, they won't... Oh, there's some tough stuff here. Some stone. Right, I'm directly underneath it on the map. Oh, this is pretty intense. But it's game time. It's time to do some damage to the forces of evil on this server. Oh, I think I can hear a wisp. But luckily they haven't found me yet. I'm safe underneath the mountain inside this little cubby hole. Right, so if I keep digging up, I should find... Right, I'm directly underneath the obsidian platform, but there's, there's dirt above me. So I might have to take out this dirt. Maybe it's hiding the spawner. Don't see a spawner yet. Oh, but I can hear wisps. I can definitely hear wisps. Let's put some more torches down so I can see what I'm doing. Right, digging up again. Here we go. Oh! Oh, it's purple. There's obsidian. There it is! There's the wisp spawner! Oh, here we go! Right, so what do I do? Am I just going to kill it? Can I capture it? Could I use a soul shard to... Well, no. Why would I want to capture a wisp? Actually, thinking about it, maybe I should block this up because wispy essence is a useful thing to farm. And I'm going to build some thorncraft stuff at some point. So I'm just going to replace my bucket with this. Just going to cobblestone this up. But I know where it is now. And I'll mark it off with this cobblestone. So I can come back here at some point and make a wisp farm. We can turn these rude dudes that are attacking me into a source of magic and power for me. Right, so that's been it for Feed the World. We've taken a look at the wisp spawner underneath the... Uh, oh, oh, be careful. These wisps are coming mighty close to me. We take a look at the wisp spawner underneath that purple kind of structure over there. And we also made ourselves a steak sandwich at the farm shop. And I showed you the furnace setup that we got in there. We gathered the ingredients and we got things up and running in the farm shop. So now, fingers crossed, if someone pays me a visit, I can take them to the farm shop 
introduce them to my uh, to my food and just say, hey, what do you want to eat? And they can say, oh, well, you know, I'd really like a steak sandwich. And I'll go, hey, you're in luck. I know exactly how to make steak sandwiches. So until next time, hit like and favorite and subscribe and take care.